my most exciting lives to date. I am here at our brand new flagship store in Edina, Minnesota. I wish I could take this tripod and walk it around. If you didn't catch our stories yesterday, you've got to go back and look. This store is absolutely stunning and it is already buzzing with excitement this morning. We're going to run through some of my favorites. What I'm wearing for work, what I'm wearing for play, and what I'm wearing for those nights out. And I'm going to bring all of you along for the ride. And I even have a special guest who's going to be joining me today during live. So let's start off with what I am wearing to work. So if you caught our email blast on Tuesday, we had an amazing and beautiful blouse from Clap and Stone. This is another one. I am picking my uniform, I'm calling it today. I am all about a fabulous blouse and an easy pair of trousers. You heard me right, trousers. And I'm calling this vegan option one of my faves. Now the reason I love this from Commando is all the stretch. It's a paper bag waist, but a pretty easy paper bag waist to wear because it's flat in back. So you don't have to worry about that gathering all the way around. Little bow here, I do it in a half bow because I don't want it to look too sweet. And then paired back to this beautiful chambray blouse from Cloth and Stone. Now the reason I love these Cloth and Stone blouses is because you can dress them up or dress them down. They're nice and lightweight, so whether you are in what will be chillier weather in the north or staying warm in the south, this is an easy piece to rock. Now, other favorite blouses that I'm loving for work. I'm gonna grab the sister to this one. This is that great cloth and stone blouse I talked about from our email blast earlier this week in this yummy rose terracotta color. Equally cute back to these black pants. I don't know, can you really pick a favorite? Maybe they're both our favorite, maybe they both go in our bag. I don't know, I'm gonna call it. I just wanna make sure that we're not missing any questions. Okay, so, so fun, so easy, and yet this is what I'm rocking Monday through Friday. How many of you are going back to the office? I'm so curious to know, we're back kinda half, and I'm trying to get dressed every day, whether I'm showing up in the office or not. It's helping me get my head in the game. Okay, another really easy top to wear that is a little bit, has a little less, I'd say, of some of these feminine details is this great wash down black blouse from Cloth and Stone. Now I think this is one of those quintessential relaxed button downs turned on its head. The reason I love it, the black fabrication is so yummy. Lots of drape. So if you are not a crisp, pop your collar kind of gal, this is the shirt for you. Nice relaxed fit, runs true to size. I absolutely love this back to, of course, vegan because you're mixing up the fabrications and the color. But I also think that you can do it back to a different pant. I'm gonna grab one of my favorites. Let's keep talking about black pants. Let's talk about this guy. All right, so similar idea. This is the Frankie from Allison and Joy. This also, more of a trouser pant, that wider leg. I've gotta wear this coming up in one of my stories so you guys can see it. It's so darn cute. Let's see your shoes a little closer. If I back up and move out of the, can you guys see these? This is that fabulous Kenneth Cole pump that we love, love, love in that blush nude color. It is undoubtedly my favorite heel. You can wear it all day. And I am talking to you who has not worn a heel in a year and a half. And when I say I'm talking to you, what I really mean is I'm talking to me because I haven't worn a heel in a year and a half. So comfortable, it's just the right pitch, not too high of a heel, and I love this more neutral color that really just kind of disappears with your outfit, so it goes with anything. Can look a little blush, can look a little bit more natural, can look a little camel, all depends on how you're pairing it. So. Frankie pant, here's what's great about it. Trouser closure, and trouser closure. <laughs> and then an elastic waistband in the back to give you some really nice shape and that wider leg. Lots of questions I know about wide leg pants and what shoes to wear th with them. I think the easiest shoe to pair with a wide leg pant is a heel. Super, super easy to pop on. One of my absolute favorites. You guys, I think it might be time to bring our special guest on. I never get to do this anymore, so it's so fun. Here she comes. Here she comes. I feel like it's a drum roll. Ah! <laughs> this is the best part of doing live, not in my closet, is that there are other people Other here. people! <laughs> so we thought it'd be fun to have Melody.
I'll come and pop on and talk about what she's wearing right now, what her favorites are. Oh my gosh, absolutely. You've been on the road. I have. How many hours did you work yesterday? Let's not let's not go there. Let's, I'm not adding it up. Four? It's like asking me for my age. Yes. Let's not. Let's just not. Let's just well, not. It was a lot of hours. She looks like she got a really good night's sleep, and I'm not sure that she did. Maybe you just passed out on, like, face forward on the yes. bed. Yeah, yes, yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. I did. It's been known to happen, like, bachelor, like, party style. So what are you wearing these days? Okay, what, what I'm wearing these days, I absolutely love. So the, this is a Goldie. This is the 90s um, pinch waist. Thank okay, you. Okay, let's talk about this jean, because I think this jean can be intimidating. 100%. Rack, don't you think? 100%. And then also like, well, well wait, I, I don't know if I want to wear the same jeans I wore in the 90s. Cause we all you do. Yeah. I'll just tell you, you yeah. do. Just trust us. You do want to wear these. <laughs> it's really fun. It actually is retro. It, ta it really takes you back. But I think, I think in particular curvy gals could get real scared with this. And that's actually why I pulled it. Because it is. Like it's hugging me. Hugging me. But like a good hug. Um, it feels really good. So you got to get this thing really snug, like especially through your thigh. But then it opens up and it's just got this great hang. Um, truth be told, I hit up Ash and said, give me like a cool girl cuff. Like, how should I do this? So, um, you know, phone a friend, which is probably <laughs> us. That's what I did. Um, but you can just cuff it up, have a lot of fun with it. You can wear it long, you know, with your boot. But this is just, this is just that little um, Mark Fisher booty. And just so fun. Like, wear it with a little heel. But I also... It's so easy because you like double cuff and you can wear it with a little tennis shoe and it's just so versatile. So I feel like you look at this and you're like, really? Will I get a lot of wear? But I, I feel like you really do. Okay, now true to size in this guy, did you wear your normal size? So I'm in a 31. Yeah. So I would say premium denim, 30 is kind of my true size. Uh, I'm going into a 31 when things have legit no stretch to them and these have no stretch. Um, I haven't worn these out for the day, but I, I would be in a 31. So I would say if, if you carry you know, more of your curves through here in your thighs, I would size up. Yeah. Yeah. Or who cares? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you just need to know what size to buy. No you just need to know what size. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Who cares? Um, but actually, really flattering, I think. Too. I think so, Which too. I was shocked by. And, like, for petite gals, so the same jean on me, I was super intimidated by it. I was like, it's going to swallow me up. I'm going to look ridiculous in it. I'm going to look like I'm wearing my old, old, old jeans. The cuff is the secret, I think. For sure. And then I think the way you're styling it with the heel really helped me. I think longer legged gals like you can rack that sneaker all day long. Yeah. It's a little harder for us short legged ones. Yeah. So, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to do a heel of mine. I think to it's give puffy. me some confidence. I think if you're super brave too, like I traveled with um, Megan Cowan, who's yeah. one of our directors. She's based in Illinois and she's going to cut it. So she got these last what? week, and she, yeah, and she's just gonna whack them. Right. And I was like, oh, you are brave, and that's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I feel like, and with the destruction too, be so hundred percent. So I feel like that's a petite option too. Okay, let's talk about this combination. Okay, I am loving this right now because, especially with traveling, it's a light layer. I can take off the cardigan, but yet when I'm inside in the AC, the cardigan, you know, just gives me that layer. This is just our little Kiara cami from Allison Joy. I mean, she's $38. You just can't go wrong. Um, so whether it's under a cami or you're going to do it under your blazer, um, you're going to do a little sweater and have her just peek out the top. Like, she's so easy. I think cream and black. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and this is just a little stitches and stripe cardigan. I'm in it for the color. I'm all about the little pinks, and it's all these little marled pinks, and she's just so pretty. And I'm now – I'm. How do you do this live, by the way? Because I'm just going to say that right now. I'm going to call her out right now. Her and Ash. When you do things live, you got to, like, know it. And if I'm in the fitting room and I'm like, hmm, what was that? I'm like, oh, pause. And then I look at the ticket and I cheat. So just so you know, there's a lot of cheating on my part. This gal does it all live. And I actually don't remember the name. But I do remember she has two names, which I thought was really funny. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, she's so special, she gets a middle name. <laughs> but I couldn't tell you what that is. So, sorry. Stitches and stripes, lovely pink marled cardigan. So cute. Wear it open, wear it closed as a top. Mel's right, this little Kira Kami peeking out underneath yeah. is so fun. So and fun. And it shows like any little one. We got questions. Oh, questions. Okay, question. Okay, first question, reminder of what brand are the jeans? A Goldie. And how tall are the Okay. 5'7", <laughs> plus I have a heel on. Um, oh, you have a heel too. I'm okay, shy so of 5'4 with a heel. Okay. So, and disproportionately short legs. I think it's always helpful. And so 5'7, I've got a super wide leg cuff on this guy. Yeah. Okay, so it does run long. Yeah, and they're really meant to be cuffed, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
Can you describe the material of your part again? Oh, sure. Exactly oh, thank God. <laughs> thank, thank God, because I don't know. Um, but definitely, it is more of it is more of a world base. So if you're like, I only wear cotton sweaters, like 100%, this might not be your gal, but I'm, I, I don't have an issue with that. So a little bit of wool in here, too. Um, but super, super soft, though. Um, and again, just I'm going to get up and close and personal here, just marled with all the colors. But you got to be okay with a little bit of wool yeah. with this one. Okay? But yeah, I'm just going to like pet now for a second. It is very soft. It's beautiful. It's very soft. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, question kind of fun. What yeah. else? So fun. Anything else? Like, Anything else? We I just talked to myself. We though. have one that says, what yeah. mules would look good with this look? Remind me mules. on what mules you're wearing and what else would you wear. So this okay. is the Mark Fisher Gabby. This is the Mark Fisher. I like this one a lot because of the color. It's probably my favorite color for going into fall. So Suede, easy, can wear with anything. Um, we also have some corkies yeah. um, that I think would be beautiful in a darker brown. Oh, here. Um, anything, oh, there we are. Super comfy gang. So if you have not tried a mule yet, this is a really nice one to do because of that crazy, crazy footbed cushion. It's so, so soft, like walking on a cloud. It's like the kind of the sneaker answer almost to a mule or a clog. So a really nice one to kind of get into. Easy to do a mule with either one of the looks we have on for sure. And remember that that mule slide look doesn't have to have a heel. So I grabbed this Vince Camuto too because I think this is a really easy one to pair back to like the look that I'm wearing. You could also easily do a flat with what Mel's wearing like as well. Feet. She I probably do. has tiny feet. I'm gonna make I it know. work. This is like, but they're probably like size six to my nines. <laughs> But I'm gonna do it because I love you guys. So so cute, dress it up a little bit. And I think that's the fun part actually about this Kira lace cami is it can go high or low. Dress it up, dress it down, really easy to wear with just yeah. about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. True, true. So fun! So fun! So great to have Melanie Okay, with us. thank you for everything. Can I just say real quick? Thank you for everything she does. You guys have no idea. You probably think she just does Instagram 100% of the time. I feel like that sometimes too. But sometimes she's on an executive team call and she's like, okay, bye guys, I gotta go to live. And then legit, you see her on Instagram like the next minute. Like this is one of the hardest working women out there. Thank you for all you do. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. How fun was that? Oh my gosh, I gotta guess more often. We're back in it, guys. Okay, so a couple other favorites I wanted to run through. We're talking about work, what I'm wearing to work. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but this fall weather makes me crave myself a good glass of Merlot and a little fireside chat. So I am definitely in the mood for some date night looks. And my uniform as of late is a little bit more elevated blouse and then a sexy bottom. And that means coated or vegan, no doubt about it. So I grabbed a couple of my favorite blouses that I'm just loving 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 right now we're going to start with this amazing top from Allison Joy and I'm going to walk you through why I think this needs to go back to vegan so great pin tucking a little bit of ruffle on the sleeve more of a voluminous arm and it is a little bit sheer which I think adds some sexiness to an otherwise sweeter top it has a keyhole back and a straight body so an easy one to tuck in now the reason I love this back to vegan is because I think it adds a little bit of edge to your look. Otherwise we're talking about kind of sweet head to toe, can be great with a pair of jeans, but I think roughing it up a little bit and adding a little what I like to call scratch to your outfit can make it all the cooler. So yes, with the paper bag, absolutely full tuck on this one for sure. But if you want to go a little bit cleaner, we just got this amazing utility coated in from Seven for All Mankind. So, so yummy. So a little bit more room for the thigh on this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of stretch and a zipper around the ankle. So again, that little bit of edge back to this beautiful blouse I think would be such a fun combination. I hope and hope that you all got a chance to watch that great video introducing Meg, getting a little more background on the amazing woman that she is. She is wearing this blouse in some of those shots. Again, one of my favorites. We always say every animal never goes out of style, and that is absolutely true this season, especially when it looks this good. So feminine blouse, again, you're going to note this kind of sheer sleeve is absolutely a thing. Show a little bit of skin without showing all of it. I absolutely love this. And with in black, back to, you got it, a vegan, so darn cute. And then last but not least, 
this beautiful blouse. Another kind of spin on an animal, but done in a different way. And the reason I grabbed this from Allison Joy is I'm thinking about all of us out there who are a little bit curvier on top. This V-neck is your friend. Another reason I love this cloth and stone. It doesn't make you feel quite so choked up. Opens up that neckline. Show off your fun stack of necklaces. This guy also really easy because it doesn't require a tuck. So this is a fun top that kind of blouses on its own. Easy, easy, easy to wear. Right? So, so fun. All right. Then, last but not least, kicking around on the weekends. So, weekends have gotten busy, busy, busy in my life, like I know many of yours have, and I am trying to pack it all in. So, when I get up on a Saturday morning, if I'm lucky enough to brush my hair and brush my teeth and actually look in the mirror, the last thing I have time for is to think about how I'm going to put a look together. So, I go for that uniform. Statement sweater, great pair of straight leg jeans, and comfy shoes. So. I grabbed a couple of my new favorite sweaters that are so easy, and I love this time of year too because if you're not needing a jacket yet, how easy just to throw on that sweater weight. So, brand new cowl neck sweater. This is from 525. You guys know my love of this brand. Always super yummy and lightweight in this fun cable knit mixed with more of a fisherman knit. And I, if you are not a huge turtleneck fan, I'm going to raise my hand and say I love turtlenecks to the end of time. I will wear a turtleneck at least once a week, even in the summer, always. I just love them, and it might be because of my long giraffe neck. But if you don't love a turtleneck, a cowl neck is a great way to get that look across without feeling so kind of high and filled in. I just want to make sure I'm getting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My half bow. I should show you how to do the half bow. Because you, you know what you could do? You could also wear this sweater with these pants and it would be so cute. Ooh! Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, it's five to five sweater with straight leg jeans. But first, let's talk about this half row. So here's what I do. And this is funny because I think the team watched me try to do this 20 times, literally. And I kept redoing it. But now I think I've got it solved. Okay, step number one. This is probably the most important one. You don't want the tails to be even. So. The tail that you're going to make the bow with should be longer so that the tails end up the same length. Does that make sense? This might explain to you why I chose retail and not teaching as a career. Okay, so I make my little half bow, tie it around just like you normally would if you were going to make a bow, but instead of doing your full bow here, bring the tail all the way out and then just pull it tight. And then I let it relax down. Yes. Maybe. Did that help? I think I did it the first try. Okay, there we go. Yes, that is how you do that little half bow. And just let it kind of relax down, gang. And I like that because that big bow in front of me always feels a little bit strong. If you're really tiny in the waist, it can be a great way to do it. But if it feels like too much, I would lose it. Okay, and then I just remembered I got an amazing tip from one of our stylists here in Edina. She was wearing this pant yesterday, and guess what she did? She ditched this belt and put on another belt with it, a little animal belt, and it looked so dang cute. I can hardly believe I didn't even think about it. So she's the brilliant stylist that came up with that idea. So a really fun way to kind of twist it on its head. Okay, a couple more fun sweaters we just want to run through before I sign off. Okay, cardigans. So easy, easy, easy cardigans. Again, this goes back to my Saturday uniform. What do I want to throw on? And when that weather is kind of bouncing around like it does right now, when you wake up in the morning and it's cool, afternoon is lovely, then it gets like really cold at night and you need those layers, cardigans are your best friend. So two great ones. The first is from Jameson and this lovely, lovely brown ombre. The second from 525, and this is more of that great duster silhouette. What I like about these, pair it with that Kira Cami, just like Mel was doing before, or for something more casual, this is when I grab my favorite, favorite tank from Z Supply. This is that great Delilah tank. Easy, not too long, so you don't have to worry about fussing and mussing and tucking it in. Pop it on underneath, and if you get warm, the sky is bra friendly, so you lose the cardi for a bit as you're sitting on the sidelines. And we got to talk about the jeans before we go because straight leg jeans. Mel was wearing that amazing 90 pinch waist. One of my favorites. There are so many great options out there and it's definitely the way to update. I wore this ammo in my stories last week. 
I'm kind of in love with it. I can't stop thinking about it, which is always a sign that I just need to pull the trigger. Great Paris from Edwin. Also A. Goldie, the Riley. You know this guy. You love this guy. Such a great option. And then Hudson as well. So we've got a little bit for everyone. Something from stretch to no stretch. You just need to find and we might have more questions. So speaking of denim. Yes. Somebody is asking, speaking of belts, are we seeing wider or thinner? It is all about what I call the jean belt. This is the perfect belt to wear because it really goes with just about anything. And the reason I love this closure too is because there's so many ways to style it. So let's just take a hot second and do this right now. So what I think is great about this belt is how simple and clean it is. It's thick enough that it's gonna fit beautifully with your jeans, so it's gonna fill out that waistband. Nothing worse than that like kind of floaty skinny belt, right? That like creeps up or creeps down when you have it on with jeans. It always feels a little funky. This guy is great because tons and tons, number one, this is one of my biggest pet peeves on belts, lots of belt holes. So if you're wearing it with a higher waist jean, great. If you're rocking a little bit lower, you can still wear it. Now, I love a good belt because I think it really does help to define your waist. So here, easy, switch out the belt on this one, pair it with a cardigan, layer it over. I'm just gonna show you guys what that would look like. So, and then one question I know that always comes up is like, what do you do with a belt tail when it's hanging out here? So two things I do. Number one, I either loop it under like that, okay? That's my step number one. Or this is a cheer trick I learned 100 years ago, way, way back in the day. I take one of those little clear elastic rubber bands. You know the ones that you use on like your toddler daughter's hair? They're super thin and they're basically invisible and it's when they have like, their piggies are like this long and like so fine, but you still want to put their hair up and they are still letting you put their hair up. I take one of those guys, I just put it onto my belt and I tuck this through. You can't see it and it holds the belt in place. I don't know who taught me that like literally 20 years ago, but it is my favorite trick to hold belts in place. So a little bit wider, more of that true like jean belt waistband, wear it over a cardi, wear it with a jacket, wear it with your jeans, wear it with your pants, put it on over a blouse. It's such a fun way to finish any look out there. You guys, I wish you could see behind me. There are so many women here shopping. It's so fun. It has been a true joy to be here this morning, to have Mel along with, and of course, as always, to have you here. Thank you so much. I hope if you get the chance and you are in the Twin Cities area, you check out this store. If not, of course, go to your local every shop online, or if you're anything like me right now and you're just too darn busy, Transcend is your best friend. Thanks everyone, and we'll see you soon. Take care.